church. Well, leaders of a church in North Knoxville are pleased tonight with the results of their negotiations now with TDOT. Yeah, engineers from the Tennessee Department of Transportation agreeing to provide safety barriers requested by the church. Members of Keith Avenue Baptist calling WAT 6 on your side consumer reporter Don Dare last month. Mm -hmm. So, Don, you've got the follow-up. Yeah, already a safety barrier has gone up good. around the church, and that's really good. The huge Western Avenue expansion project in North Knoxville, now in its third year, perched Keith Avenue Baptist Church high up in a hill. Last month, members told us how Sunday attendance has dropped due to heavy construction around their church. They were most concerned, however, about a steep sl hill sliced out in front of their building. TDOT tells us they listened and action is being taken. This is a temporary fence. It's a plastic fence that makes people aware there is a drop off, yeah. but it has no protection. The Western Avenue widening project viewed in the distance has isolated Keith Avenue Baptist Church, placing it atop an island hard to locate for prospective visitors and difficult to access for those who can find the church. Leaders say Sunday attendance has dropped dramatically since construction began three years ago. It's the kids they worry about when they go outside the building. The pastor says there's a dangerous steep drop off from the church property to the new road below. Since our first story three weeks ago, there's been a compromise with the state. We made a verbal agreement that he would put a guardrail beginning at that stake up to this stake. The guardrail would look like this one, the type you see on the highway. He also agreed that they would put a tubal fence as a privacy fence behind the guardrail. At the same time, they'd pay this area back. Keith Avenue Baptist once sat atop a gently sloping hill on nearly two acres of property with parking lots on each side and a horseshoe connector in front of the church. Church leaders didn't like the steep grade from their property plunging to the road below, and they were originally disappointed with the single fence proposal. As you look out, this all this used to be the church property along through here, and this was where you see this construction fence. We were supposed to have about another 18 feet out from the edge of our access road here. So not only do we not have that easement area anymore, it's gone, but then they have proposed to put up a highway style guardrail around through here, right at the edge of this. I'd like to see a much safer barrier, similar to what they have down here on this retaining wall, mm -hmm. instead of a highway style guardrail. I would like something that a child can't go over, under, or through. After meeting with TDOT engineers, Keith Baptist leaders have achieved their goal of acquiring two safety barriers. Is the fence going to look like that there? Yes, sir. That is the duplicate of what it would look like. It will be actually three and a half foot high, which will be high enough to protect our children. And that's our, one of our main concerns is the children of the church. I am pleased with that. The safety of the children and the cars that come through here. Already the guardrail is up and TDOT says the black tubular safety railing around the top of the slope will be installed soon. Now the road in front of Keith Avenue Baptist Church. Sturkey Street is nearing completion which should make the entrance to the church easier to access for visitors. Sturkey Street and Keith Avenue have been torn up for nearly two years making it not only difficult to access the building but a struggle to find the church if you are a visitor wanting to attend a Sunday service. And Kristen and Bo church members cannot wait yes. <laughs> for the widening project to end. Uh, I can I'm imagine. I'm sure. The sense yeah. of relief when that finally happens. Exactly. And Jump. they're really pleased that this other well, good. fence is going to go up. So Step in the right direction. Yep. Thought, thinking about the other day, drove by there and was thinking about your story. Ooh. So, all right. <laughs> hey, if you have a consumer question for Don, send them an email at ddare.wat.com. You can also call a six on your side hotline number at 865-633-5974.